Yeah, so uh, I've just left the restaurant and um, I didn't want to um, put this on film, but uh, there was a little bit of a, a situation happening with uh, this Gaijin guy. He was a part of a, a group, like three guys, and uh, this fucking moron was uh, arguing with the staff at that restaurant, who, of which I have been there, I've been going there for like at least, uh, five years or something like that. And uh, <laughs> this fuckhead, I don't know, I don't know what nationality is, nor do I care. Um, but he was saying that, um, that he ordered some uh, alcohol. I think it was like a bin beer or something like that. And uh, yeah, he said the, um, that he didn't get his beer. Now, that particular place that I've uh, been to, what's behind me, uh, is fully legit. I've never had any problems ordering any uh, food. Or, well, it's a bit windy. Sorry about the wind. Um, nor have I had problems um, getting any food from there. Now, this guy was saying that um, the staff didn't didn't get his uh, his beer. Kind of very odd, considering it's a it's a it's a ticket machine um, little restaurant. So basically, what that means is. You pay for your food through the ticket machine. You get a ticket, and then you send, you give it to the uh, staff. And I know legit, like there's no way that they can ever make anything wrong. Wow! Look at these body pillows, man. It's pretty sick. This is one of these uh, kind of like hentai shops. Um, and yeah, basically uh, this guy was arguing like crazy about his uh, his bin mirror, and he actually uh, this guy his fuckhead. Oh, nice man. They actually. Um, it's one of these like digital magazines. Awesome. Um, there, there's no way that you can uh, ever fuck up an order because uh, it's a ticket. So when you order food in Japan, you'll never, ever, ever get ripped off in this country. Japanese people and Japanese restaurants are not like that. They will never scam you. And in fact, to be honest, um, the only place that you will get scammed is uh, probably in Roppongi, which are bars and clubs that are not Japanese owned. And um, yeah, this guy was being a total bell end. And I felt that I, uh, I wanted to uh, intervene. Now, when I first came to Japan, I used to help a lot of foreigners out. And my Japanese isn't the best. I uh, got some really cr oh Sean the sheep now look. Got some gari gari kun. These are new uh, gacha puns. It's a packaging. And yeah, I used to help a lot of foreigners out, but now uh, after a few bad uh, occasions dealing with gaijin sons, um, I decided not to. Oh wow, they got these in finally. 500 yen, I'm gonna have to uh, try and hook that up. Uh, so yeah, I don't help foreigners out anymore. But the pure reason is that uh, foreigners who come to Japan, and this is not like tarnishing anybody that watches my YouTube channel, are very rude and arrogant and abrupt. So, I could get into details, 
but I choose not to get into deals because I just can't be fucking asked with that bullshit. But yeah, generally speaking, uh, foreigners here are just fucking brain dead because they uh, they think because they can. Um, like Japanese people are very kind and polite and all the rest of it that they can get away with a lot of shit uh, when it comes down to um, being scammed I think Japan is probably the least country in the world where you would get ripped off so I actually stopped the video and I spoke to the staff counter about this uh, situation and I said to her oh in Japanese um, like foreigners are really difficult to deal with she's like mm. she didn't say yes or no she went mm. and uh, and I said like don't worry because I've been coming here for like over five years and I've, I've never had any problems and I said like don't worry um, the staff member being Japanese uh, didn't respond but I could tell by her facial reactions that uh, she uh, agreed with me and uh, <coughs> you'll, you'll get this quite a lot in Japan as uh, foreigners come over here shitting themselves and they don't know things about this country because they've never researched it and uh, like I said, I was gonna intervene, but I thought, no, nah, fuck it, man. This isn't my place to uh, to argue with the staff there or help this rude, arrogant gaijin guy out. If it was like a, a genuine case where I thought, well, maybe um, maybe this person is helping out, then I'd do it, but. Because he was just being a total douchebag and not understanding that uh, ticket systems over here work, I've been eating Japanese food over here for 11 years and I can honestly tell you right now is that I've never ever had a problem with ordering food from a from a, a ticket place so I don't know what this guy was uh, crying about but he was crying about 400 yen which is like two pounds for a beer yes the staff may have made a mistake but that's very highly unlikely and um, yeah he said uh, well I'll have to get another order then and uh, I'll have to pay for it this time. I'm like, bro, it's 400 yen. Even if you got scammed, it's like, fuck, bro, like 400 yen? It's nothing. Just total ass bags. This is why these people in this country, they don't want to see it because of shit like this. Um, they probably get away with it in their own country. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, the, um, the idol master shit. What's going down in uh, Akihabara right now? Let's do some random filming. And I'm sorry about the wind. It's probably going to be on the video. I need to get out the wind. So we're at uh, Akihabara train station right now, central. Some more of Idol Master shit.
So uh, this place here as well, this is uh, the infamous Nanakaya Kukai uh, sex shop. Um, <laughs> um, so I think like when the Olympic Games is coming, um, they're going to be uh, covering all this shit up, which is quite sad, obviously. You have to be obviously over 18, but uh, as you can see there, there are some sexual devices that I shall not indulge in. Um, but yeah, these are one of the places that the uh, the the uh, Taitoku ward are going to be uh, clamping down on because all this space will be blackened off. All this like <laughs> hentai anime shit will be gone. So, uh, am I for the Olympic Games in Japan? Well, yes and no. I'm not, I don't live in uh, Tokyo Ward. I live in Chibaken. And I highly doubt that anybody or any business from Chiba will profit from the fact that the Olympic Games is mainly in Tokyo, apart from where I work in Saitama. So, uh,. Yeah, I don't see any benefit towards me, my family, my friends, friends that have businesses in Japan will not profit from this. Um, obviously, it's good that uh, this country will be getting the games. But like I said, and I will reiterate on this, they or the government are just making money from Tokyo City. None of these other places outside uh, Kanto will be making anything from it. So I, I, I honestly... Uh, uh, this is a, a yakitori restaurant that I should uh, try out on there. And also as well, this um, book off is uh is pretty good as, as well it's one of the bigger book offs in uh tokyo um so yeah i have a uh, very mixed opinions about it the games coming here um all, all i could say is that i hope that my train is not uh crowded with stupid foreigners uh that i yeah i have to deal with because there is no way on planet Earth that I'm going to be helping anybody when they are lost. Just due to the fact that I've had bad experiences with foreigners in the past. I don't see why I should go out of my way to help these people out. I will leave that to the, uh, the volunteers that will be placed in various parts of Japan during the Olympic Games. Um, Sorry, I have to go back on what I said, actually. Uh, in my area, we have the surfing uh, competition, which is in the south of Chiba, in uh, Kamagoe. Is it a cute one? Hello. Um, so... There's a Tabadachi over there. So, guys, I was... I was really hoping to get like a Weno video out but that um, that huge beef ball that I got has just killed me and I don't think I can get onto the uh, train line from here as, I, as I'm on a different line so I might do some Oh, let me go in here. You're not allowed to film in here, obviously, but uh, there is something that uh, I want to look to see if they have in stock. These are the Jesus warriors. I'm not getting you on YouTube, man. Oh. 
Oh, it's a, it's, it's a competitor, it's Sony against GoPro. <laughs> so we got the headphones, uh, these wireless headphones are really popular in Japan. Um, for me personally, I can't wear these headphones very well, but uh, they represent out to Sony, man. number one company in Japan. Let's do some secret filming of the, one of the biggest electronic stores in the world. electronical star ever in the world I know you gun gunpla guys out there model makers love this star it is good they have a very good point system you've got the gold card if you ever come to Japan you can get 8% tax back as of October this year uh, it's I think it's about ten percent tax. Uh, come to Japan before October, you get some tax-free shit. This is foreigner. This is why. This is why they, we don't. They don't like foreigners here, man. Look, what are you doing? See, look, this random. I know I'm filming. But I've earned my stripes. I've earned my stripes. I live here. I'm not some creepy ass weird freak that films random shit. But this is it. So yeah, actually we're in the um They used to have the world's biggest domestic TV in the world was here. Um, and I think, I think it was either by, I think it was a Sony TV. It was huge. What am I talking about? 60 inch. Oh, it's way bigger than 60 inch. But it came with like this, like um, home theater entertainment system, which be like the uh, what is it? I've got the call now. Those special surround sound speakers. Uh, Dolby, oh, I forgot the name is now. It's totally off my head. I'll find out when I get off the video, but yeah. So we are looking for the mega house, Tori Tozaru, right at the moment. So this is like Wonderland for you guys. I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother even filming. Oh shit. Uh, anything that's untoward. Because uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with filming in this shop, but. Uh, that's hella deep, man. Now, if I remember, it was down here somewhere. These mega house toys. I'm looking for something. Ah, here it is. It should be over here. Oh no, it's not in stock. Oh no. They've got the uh, the canny puzzle, the kite puzzle. I don't know if I want to buy this one, man. I much prefer the chicken. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh well. I'll just have to wait till it comes out. I don't think it's out yet. But, uh, there's plenty to see and do and buy over here. Some weird pericular shit over there.
Hallo. Hallo, hallo, hallo. Oeh, dat is sommige zijn. So that will be a... Coming out of here, man. Well, these are back in stock, man, after a long while. Huh? Jesus. Well, these were like, um, these were out of stock like three years ago. It's mad to see everything come back in. Now, where's the uh, Mac shit? Will I be able to get this kit? I don't know. Here we are. And lo and behold, they have none in stock. What's that? That's pretty cool. Good smile. And this one as well, I've seen this. This has just come out as well, I think. Yeah, I've noticed a uh, slight change in what's going on. Oh, wow, they've got these Wigos. Bottle kits. But what company is that? That's a different company now who have the license for these. It's not a. Uh, is it Hazigawa? Surely not. I don't see any Hazigawa symbols, but uh, that's definitely worth uh, a picture. Because as you know, like these chobas are made by. Um, How's it go? So I'm kind of like freaked out by this. But they've got loads of the old Mac kits in there. Airwolf, Airwolf's back. I know a few guys wanted me to uh, look at these Airwolf kits. So obviously Oshima are uh, putting them back in production. What's this beast? Hey Paul Biker man, check this out. A bit sketchy, not my cup of tea. But, uh... They've got the uh, Gundam Zaku helmets, but uh, I'm trying to get hold of them through a stock price. Look, look, see, look, 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 look at what's happening, man. That's made by Sega. I don't think I'll be buying any sports game by that company. Yeah, man. Very, very good pastry shop. Jack in the, Jack in the box. Huh? Jack in the donuts. Located outside the other Bashi camera. I've had some of these creme brulee ones before. Oh, man, these are like plastic crack. 250 yen each, hopefully without tax. They've got a nice selection of donuts, and right next to it is Papa Beard, another famous uh, donut chain. But these, man, this is some crack right there. Look at that. Oh my god. Honestly, calorie busting, but what the fuck's that? Blueberry cheese. We got the creme brulee with the um, with donut. Uh, is that pineapple? Oh, peach. We got these weird, colourful donuts as well. It's pretty dope, man. This is like a, like an Okinawa donut style. One. 
Yeah, but this is hella dope. Um, even these look nice. Yeah, really good. Getting one for the wife. I got banana. Is that banana? Oh, it's, it's all like peach. These are called uh, Galaxy Donuts. Mm. A bit skeptical about those. That's the word that I'll be using today, guys. Skeptical. Let's see. Uh, I hope they do. Hello, oh. dope man. So when I'm waiting and uh, not, not freaking out the staff, it's a nice cool summer for me. You take it to my IG, Instagram, yeah, man, get it. You know. Which one of that's a cream brolet. Cream brolet on the ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to make you money. Come on. It's the best, best shop in uh, Akihabara. Arigato ne. Bye bye. And this is another interesting shop called uh, Sweets, uh, Sweets Paradise. Believe it or not, you've got gyoza, what's that? Uh, katsu curry, some ramen. I don't know what that is, or well, that is supposed to be. But believe it or not, these are all actually um, sweets. Like they've even got a sushi set there. Yeah, so check it out, Sweets Paradise. They make some insane um, cakes and stuff. The Sony Girls. So we're leaving the, uh, the city of crack and uh, I'm, I'm heading home. It's been a long day. And uh, yeah, I've bought some books on some bonsai. So I need to get home and do some study. And I've got a really nice book by Shigizu Miruki, uh, Mizuki as well. The Yokai book, the Yokai dictionary. Yeah, check this place out, Jack in the Donuts. It's hella sick, outside the big Yodabashi camera store. Oh, we've got the the, uh, the Jesus warriors helping out the foreigners now, and they and undoubtedly they speak very good English. Surprisingly. And uh, yeah, there's another shit thing about uh, Akiba is this, um, it's kind of weird. It, you have to pay to have a shit or a piss. It's some like public land, but they also have a smoking room out here. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the government have let this shit go down because I don't know. You can go for a piss if you're ever here, because I do drink a lot of uh, alcohol. You've got Mackey D's, that you can have a piss. You've got 7-Eleven, that you can have a piss. You've got frigging Yodabashi camera. There are about seven, eight toilets in there. So why on earth would you want to pay 100 yen to take a leak? It makes no financial sense. But yeah, that's how it is. The only good thing as well, like they've got a, a smoking room. So this this place are making money out of all the illegal things that you shouldn't do. Having a piss, having a cigarette. 
So let me cut off the feed guys and uh, I shall see you back on. I know some of you guys have enjoyed uh, my latest videos and uh, well fucking um, I'll be doing some more shit. It's summertime. Tim's coming as well. Big shout going out to Crazy Dad on IG and Tim and all the guys that watch me. Big shout out to Matthew, Simon Vaughan. This video's out to you guys.